my dad's shop. Um, it was clean at one point, but I think the concrete was still wet, so it was difficult to use. Anyways, he's got uh, a variety of, uh, I think, white oak and red oak. I think this is red oak down here that I played with the other day. It seemed to finish pretty nicely, but uh, I want to look through see what my options are first. I want my table to be about seven feet long. Fortunately, all this stuff is like probably 14, so it should be good. Alright, so as you can see, there's some pretty good chunks in there. It's just a matter of finding the best one for me. Right, before I get too carried away with this stack, there's some others on the other side that I'm going to take a look at first before I break myself trying to handle these. They're freaking huge. Those are probably four inches thick. So I, I like all three of these. And I just had to decide on one. All right, this one's my favorite so far. It's definitely the flattest, as well as the one with the most distinct grain pattern in it. However, I am concerned with how thin it gets down here at the end. This is probably about an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. Whereas this side, probably closer to two, two and a quarter inches there. I'm going to hit it with a sander kind of get an idea what the grain looks like, knock off the bark, see what my edge looks like, and uh, go from there. Busting out the hand planer. I'm not so sure this one's in good enough shape. This chunk of wood here I think is maple. I may come back to this one. I should have brought help. The chair was a necessity in navigating that tiny room. Let me just show you what I, where I just got this piece of wood from. Stacked up right here, 11 feet long. There's about two and a half feet of walking space here. I got it up on the table. It wasn't that graceful. The grain pattern looks pretty good here though. It should stain to look like one of these two, which I am quite fond of both of them. I prefer the dark one though. All right, I'm gonna plane this one down a little bit, hit it with the sander, see what, see if I'm happy with this. I better be happy with this because I'm not grabbing another one of those out of that room. All right, I'm really not crazy about this wood here at the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it off right here because I don't think, not exactly hurting for space on this board. Uh, eight feet to work with. I think this will be perfect. Look at the wood here. It's got a very good grain pattern to it, very nice and distinct, which is what I wanted for the stain to really stand out. And as a bonus, I've got a lot of little, uh, I guess some kind of bug, dug all these holes in it. And they're all over the place. Now for a sneak peek stain test because I just want to know what this is going to look like. I'm a results junkie. I just got to know before it's done. Uh, 
I think that's going to turn out great. And tomorrow we're going to plane this down. If I can get both sides nice and flat at two inches, I'll be happy. Keeps in mind. Yeah.